Okay, uh, I'm making a quick video on how to program the Yesu FT70D using the uh, Yesu software ADMS 10. So you're unable to just open up uh, your saved files on the software because the send data to FT70 is, un, uh, is grayed out. So whenever you're going to use this software to write to the radio, you always have to read the radio in first. So you're going to go to communications, get data from FT70. Now here are the instructions. Number one, they want you to remove the battery from the radio. Okay. Uh, number two, they want you to plug in the power cable supplied power cable and you're going to get an EXT DC what they want you to do is power the radio up now once the radio is powered up they want you to unplug the power cable and plug in the supplied USB cable once the USB cable is in they want you to press the AMS button on the on the radio right here the AMS button while you insert the power cord now you'll notice the screen says ADMS on it now it's ready to communicate with the software so you're gonna hit OK on here and now it's telling you to hit the band key the radio goes into a transmit and the software is receiving the data from the radio It says complete. I'm going to hit close. And here is all my data. So I can make changes in here. Or if I have another profile I want to bring in, something totally different, uh, what you do at this point is you can go uh, file, import, and uh, I'll bring in a CSV file. Uh, and you can look at my previous videos on how to make changes and edits to the CSV file. Uh, all the characters in your name field uh, need to be all uppercase and you have to do a conversion uh, in Excel to the offset field here. Um, but anyway, so here's all my new data I want to bring into the radio. So now when I go to communications, you can see send data to FT70 is now uh, enabled before it wasn't enabled until I read the radio in. So I'm going to hit the send data to FT70 and what's gonna, what it's telling you to do here is uh, we're going to disconnect everything. We're going to disconnect everything. We're going to uh, connect the AC outlet. We're going to power it back up. While the power is on, disconnect. Put the USB cable back in just like we did before and hold the AMS button in and put that in at the same time now it has the atoms on it what they want you to do to write to the radio is they want you to hit the mode button which is right here okay when you hit mode then they want you to hit the OK on the software and the radio goes into receive mode and the software starts loading So this is how you read from the radio and write to the radio. But prior to doing all this, you need to install your Adams 10 software with the drivers. And, uh, and that's it. So now if I unplugged everything here and I put my battery back on, The radio comes back on. I can hit my VFO and memory, and here are all my memories. Okay, thanks for watching.